My daughter. Mama. Your bag. Yes, Mama. Easy. Easy. No. Ye mother pogi mere mo. Ome woromya. Ye mother pogi mere mo. Yeah, my daughter. Come. Come back. Eh? It's enough. Come. Sit down. Eh? It's enough. Hmm? You need to rest. Don't go again. Sit down. Sit. Hmm? Please don't go again. Mama, but I'm not tired yet. I know. I know my daughter can walk all day long. But I say you should rest. We have enough water to use for some days. Mm, Mama, come down and keep us. Let me go for the last time. But this was exactly what you said on your last trip. Wait, sit down. Let me... How long have you been sitting in my father's compound? All day. Why? Why? I've been waiting for you. You cannot be serious, Izu. Adako, I am serious. You know I've always been serious. How many times do you want me to say it to you? I don't belong to you. So who do you belong to? Prince Obiora? Why are you so sure of him? Adako, what have I not done to prove to you that I love you? Like you said, Izu, it's not about what you have not done. For it's where my heart belongs to. My heart belongs to somewhere else. 
and I expect you to understand. Just go. I will go. But be rest assured that I will be back. Izu, don't come back here again. I mean it. Don't come back to my father's house again. You won't like what I will do to you. Don't come back here again. Take care, my love. What is wrong with this man? Is he by force to love you? Izu! Ha! You don't have the gut to sit on my seat. that he's supposed to ascend as soon as he gets married. You know, our king did not leave another son. So if Prince Ubera dies now, the kingship will live to another family chosen by the gods through Oko. But he will not die. Oko has already said so. He will not die. What we owe the prince now are prayers and libations to the gods that they him quick recovery. Unai, eat your call. Eat your call. Gustavo Alan, please heal the prince. Please, I don't want anything to happen to him. Please. Aduko, why are you crying? What kind of question is that? Are you the only girl in this village that doesn't know that the prince is sick? Uh, why are you acting like he's already dead? Ah, please, oh, please. Don't use that word, dead. It's scary, please. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is that I'm in love with the prince. Yes. I love the prince. And if he dies now, who will marry me? Oh, you love the prince? Um, does mother knows about it? How do you expect me to tell mother about my feelings for the prince? Why are you talking like a child? Oh, you're a child anyway. What do you know? Mm, I'm a child. But even as a child, I know that the prince chooses his bride, not the bride choosing him. Is that not true, my adult sister? Wait, wait, wait. Oma, are you mocking me? No, no, wait. Are you actually mocking me? Oh, how can I mock you? <laughs> Oma, you're mo you're mocking me. Come here. Yeah, I will deal with you today. Come here. You're actually mocking me. Oma, Oma, come. Come here. Stop. Thank you. 
this early morning rain. Good morning. Oh, good morning, my beautiful daughter. How are you? I'm fine, Father. Good. Um, Father, I want to talk to you. What is it? Um, I... Talk now? Talk. Father, the prince died in my dream. Shh. Don't let and you want hate your service? Did you eat last night before going to bed? No, Father. Make sure you always eat before you go to bed. But you don't have bad dreams, okay? Father, this is not a joke. <coughs> the prince died in my dream. But that doesn't mean he will. What does, what does it mean? I can cure him of a sickness. Uh, Oma. Oma. Father. Now, go inside and ask your mother to give you your breakfast. Father, but father, I... I said go inside and ask for your breakfast. Do as I've just said. So go inside, as I've told you. If you don't listen to me, father, the prince will die. I have never seen Omar speak with so much seriousness and confidence before. Don't tell me you believe what our child said. She might be right. She's a child. And children say things that are not always right. Olama, Olama, I have a feeling that she might be saying the truth. Nay, I hope you do know what the queen will do to your household if she is not right. She will say we've mocked her son and we will be punished for that. I know, but what if we refuse to do something and the prince dies? Nay, I just hope you know what you're doing. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I am doing. Queen. She can now go in and see the prince. Are you sure she can heal him? Yes. She is pure and she is highly favored of the gods. My child. Yes, my queen. Go in there and do what you can to bring my son back to me. And you? Your family and your entire generation shall be duly compensated forever.
sure she's not just being the child that she is. She's not herself right now, man. A power bigger than all of us is working through her. child how is he he will soon be fine take this give it to him two drops every night and smear it on his body thank you very much my child um, uh, thank you so much it's your Menka. Thank you very much. You don't have to thank us, my queen. The princess' health is our concern. I'll have to leave now. Calling me your love. I don't love you. I will never love you. Why are you here? And what's this for? Oh, this. Firewood. You know how difficult it is finding firewood during the rainy season. So I felt you needed to cook. That's why I brought this. Who asked for your help? Did I call for your help, Izu? Just go! And I could, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this? Why are you wasting your time on, on, on a man that will not love and give you the attention that you deserve? Who says so? He loves me and I know that. That is the lie that you tell yourself every day. You and I know that I am the only man in this kingdom that truly loves you. Well, Izu, 
I don't love you. And you cannot force your love on me. Just go and don't come back here again. Or I will take your matter to the palace. I mean it. Just go. Adako, I sincerely hope that you will not live to regret this day. Just go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nonsense. My son. Mother. I thought I had lost you. I couldn't help but imagine life without you. The throne, the kingdom, without you sitting over it. Mother, I am grateful to the gods. I thank them for bringing me back to you. I know. You also have to show gratitude to the vessel they used to bring you back to me. Omenka and his family deserve a royal honor from us. You're right, mother. I've actually thought of it. And I'll pay them a visit very soon. Thank you very much, my son. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me, how have you been? I don't know how I have been, but right now I know how I am now. I'm so happy to have you back, my son. Thank you, mother. I promise not to go again. You are welcome, my friends. Thank you, Chief Omenga. I am glad that you are well now, because we cannot afford to lose you at this time. You are mostly needed to run the affairs of this kingdom. I am deeply grateful. I owe everything to you. Uh, no, 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 my prince. Uh, I am happy that the gods found my family worthy of such task. It's your Menka. You and your family will always have a place at the royal banquet. Whatever it is that you desire, say it and I shall make it come true. Thank you. Thank you for this favor. I am very happy. Thank you. One more thing. I would want to see your daughter, the one that healed me. Her name is Oma. Oma! Oma! Papa! Come, 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 come. Oh. Greetings, my prince. Greetings to you, great one. Uh, greetings, my prince. Greetings. I'm glad you're well now. Yes. You made me well. <laughs> Power comes from the gods, my prince. <laughs> yes. Oh, I see. You speak with so much bravery and wisdom. I have no doubt she will be a great woman when you grow up. You see? Thank you very much, my prince. I shall take my leave now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. It's your Menka. My prince. I will have to take my leave now. Ah. It's, it's okay. Um, let me walk you. All right. Um, I, I, let me It's a bad My prince, please do take care of yourself, okay? I will. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care of yourself. Ha! Ah. He was looking at me. He was. He was looking at me. Yes, Adugo, you're already the queen. You're already the queen, so start preparing. Hey, you're getting in a few. Welcome, my friend. Where have you been? I've been waiting all day for you. Waiting all day for me? Why? What do you mean by why? Or have you forgotten what we are? I don't know, you tell me. Okay. I'm your woman. And your soon to be bride. And the future queen of this great kingdom. Ordained for you by the gods. 
Um, so how how come I do not know anything about this ordination by the gods? Oh, my prince, you know, maybe you are still too proud to accept the choice made for you by the gods. But you see, I'm not bothered because I know very soon you will. I admire your courage, Adako. But you see, I am very tired now. I need to rest. I beg to take my leave, if you don't mind. My prince. My prince. What are you looking at? Mother, I am not ready yet. I said I am not ready. How can you say you're not ready? Your father died when you were just a little boy. And ever since then, the throne has been under the care of a regent. You cannot ascend that throne unless you are married. And the time is now. Mother, I know all that. Oh, you do? Yes. So why do you make it look like it is not important? I'm not making it look like it's not important. It is. But the time has to come. What time are you talking about? What about Adako? What about her? She has been waiting for you. I never asked anyone to wait for me. So what happens to her now? I don't know. I cannot assure you if it is going to be Adako or not. The gods will have to decide. Ready to choose a bride. I so much wish he can look my way. <sighs> what do you mean by he's getting ready to choose a bride? <sighs> the prince doesn't have options here. I, Adako, is the only bride for him. We too. So, Ola, you, you have had your eyes on my man all this time. And you called yourself my friend. I don't understand. You are acting as if the prince has proposed to you already. <sighs> yes. I know he has not proposed yet. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean he will not propose. Then we'll wait until he proposes to you. And stop acting like you two are married already. <sighs> I thought you were my friend. It's okay. But the next time... I will see you near the prince. I, Adako, I will make sure I don't make use of this again. I promise you. <laughs> hey, hey, Adako. Adako. You think I'm joking? Wait up. I don't understand you. Adako, wait now. Come now. Are we quarreling? Adako, oh. God. Take a very good look at me and tell me, is there anything wrong with me? No. Am I that ugly? Not at all, but why are you asking all these questions? I am asking because your friend, Adako, treats me as though 
I am ugly. She treats me like, like I am not a man. Look at me. I am a successful farmer. I even have my own house and enough yams in my barn to last me and my family for the next 10 seasons. Why can't she see all that? What does she want in a man that I cannot give to her all her? My friend is a very difficult person. You deserve a better woman. A woman who will love you just as much as you love her. And stop wasting your time and energy on her. She chose the prince over me. Is this, is this because I am not from the royal family? Is that what this is all about? Maybe, but this is not really important. Like I told you, you deserve a better woman. And you are a good man. You have to cast your eyes on someone better than a dark one. Someone better? Yes. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I actually slept over our discussion yesterday and uh, today I think I am ready to make my choice. Today? Yes, mother. So soon? Is that not what you have always wanted? Yes, it is. I am happy you finally see the need to make that move. I'm so proud of you, my son. Thank you, mother. But my son, if I may ask, who is this lucky bride? Why do you want to know, mother? Because I am your mother. That will ruin the surprise. You will know soon enough. Okay. I am waiting. But I wish above all things that Adako becomes your bride. Today we will decide. Okay. Mother. You're welcome, my prince. Thank you, Chief Ominka. Uh, this one we always said was not announced. I hope everything is fine. Everything is fine. All is fine. You see, Chief Ominka, I've been thinking about a way to reward your family. But just last night, the ghost opened my eyes. And they said, the only way to reward this family is to marry from this household. My prince, I have served the gods faithfully. I have never doubted them. So, if it is their wish to bless me, reward me by bringing the royal household closer to my family, you are highly welcome. Thank you, Shiomeng. Thank you. However, I have a daughter who is uh, 16 seasons old. Her name is Adugo. I believe she's the one the girls talk to you about. Let me go. Adam. <coughs> Adugo. Yes, Papa. Adugo. Come, 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 come. <laughs> oh, greetings, my prince. Greetings to you. It's your Menka. My prince. I must confess, she's indeed beautiful. Oh, thank you, my prince. Thank you. Oh. Thank, thank you, you my, my prince. prince. But she's not the one. But my prince, she is the only grown-up daughter that I have. I believe if the girls talk to you uh, about somebody in my house, she, she'll be the one. 
You have another daughter, don't you? I, I do. Where is she? Oh my. Hi. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Papa. Come, 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 come. Greetings, my prince. Greetings. She's the one. Yes, she is. Um, Oma. I do go. Both of you boys. Yeah. Okay. I don't mean to doubt you, but Oma is just a child. She cannot be your bride because she is not yet wife. She is just 11 seasons old. It's your anger. I saw it clearly. She is my bride. She may not be right yet, but she will be in the next four seasons from now. And I am ready to wait until she is ripe enough to be my bride. While I wait, I want the betrothal to take place and the consummation in four seasons from now. Oh, oh it's all right. the one. She's the chosen one. She cannot be the chosen one because she's just a little girl. But don't tell me you're one of those doubting the gods. I am not doubting the gods. I am not doubting the gods because they know that you will soon be crowned the king and it cannot happen until you are married. Mother, I know what I saw. I am very sure of what I saw and I'm ready to go through with it. Obiora, what about the throne? What if they take the throne away from us while you're waiting for her to be right for marriage? Or don't you know that the elders are also canvassing for this throne? Mother, if it is the will of the gods that the mantle departs us, so be it. The lead of the gods I will follow. Obiora! Obiora! married to the prince. No. The only child that separated me from barrenness. Ada? Why are you crying? Stop asking me! Stop asking as if you don't know. As if you don't know I'm crying. Please leave me alone. Please, I beg you. <laughs> I know why you are crying, but please, I'll take care of everything. I am still your mother. I'll make sure everything works out well. Please. Mother, I love him. Mother, I love the prince. I love him. Mother, should I shout it? I love the prince, oh, mother. Mother, I'm in love with the prince. Mother, I love the prince. Leave me alone. I don't want to go anywhere. Stop crying, let's go. 
everything will be alright. Leave, 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 leave me. Leave me. I want to be left alone. Please just leave me. Leave me alone. Oma. How can Oma come between my daughter and myself? The only child that separated me from barrenness. No. No, this cannot happen. Not when I am alive. Let's go inside. Leave me alone. I don't want to go inside. Leave me. I'm not going. Come, come. Everything. Mora, leave me. I want to be left alone. Just leave me. <laughs> How could you do this to me, my prince? I've loved you with all my heart. And I was willing to do anything for you. But you chose that little girl instead of me. Adako, Oma is not that little girl. She is the chosen one. The girls are wise and I always follow their counsel. She should understand that. Understand what? What is there to understand? After waiting for you all these years, she just came in great numbers. But I chose to be with you. Are you here telling me to understand? But I never made you believe you will one day become my bride. Why did you allow me to fool myself all over the kingdom? Why did you allow me to do that? Why? Why did you allow me to do that? Adako. Adako. Adako, you are a beautiful woman. You will definitely find yourself another man from this kingdom who will be willing to make you his bride, but not me. My prince, 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 Adaku, I warned you about the way you treat yourself as the prince. But you said I was jealous of you. Now see what the prince has done to you. I loved him. You loved him. See what he has done to you. He is all I ever wanted in a man. The prince surprised the entire kingdom by going for that little girl when there are so many grown up and beautiful maidens in this kingdom. What is it about that girl? What does she have that we don't have? I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> and that we just have to take it easy, okay? You just have to take it easy. It's okay now. Mm, stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. You just have to put yourself together. It's okay. My prince, you have to rethink your decision. Because the queen is very angry. You were aware. It's your careful. My mother is angry and she sent you to come and talk to me. I want to ask you a question. Whose anger should I be afraid of? That of the gods or my mother? Of course I should be afraid of the gods and their anger when I go against their command. It's you, you of all people should know that. I know, my prince, but... But what, it's you, it's you, I have already made my decision and nothing can thwart it. You see, instead of you bothering yourself over my mother's anger, I think you should go home, get yourself prepared for the betrothal, and also inform Oko about it. Thank you. Okay, my prince. Hmm. 
<laughs> Adugu, I brought you food. Did I tell you I'm hungry? Hey, Elma, did I tell you I'm hungry? No, you've not eaten anything. And you will get sick if you don't eat something. You are the one that will get sick. Did you hear me? Eat food! Oh my, eat food! Eat food! Eat food! What have I done to you, Ada? You've done everything to me. You've done everything! Everything! You've done everything to me! You've done everything! Idiot! <laughs> She has been crying since the prince made the pronouncement. And you don't seem to be bothered about it. What do you want me to do, Olamu? What do you want me to do? Eh? Why does it hurt her so much that the prince chose her younger sister, Oma? Eh? Besides, the prince didn't make any promise to her. Nay, our daughter admires the prince a lot. She talks about him, even when the prince was sick. She cried heartily and prayed fervently for his recovery. How do you think she will feel, knowing that the same prince she prayed and cried for came to her house to marry her younger sister, who doesn't even know anything about marriage? I understand how she feels. Um, I will talk to her later. Huh? Meanwhile, I am hungry. I am hungry. Nine. You are hungry. The only thing you know how to talk about in this house and settle is food. Give me food, I am hungry. Give me food to eat. Alugo, I want you to understand that life doesn't give us everything we want. The gods decide what we should have and what we shouldn't have. Eh? <laughs> Papa, what do you mean by that? Are you trying to tell me that it is the decision of the gods to favor my instead of me? Uh, 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 it's not favor. You, you, you can't call it favor. Don't call it favor. Papa, it is favor. It is favor. Because anyone that marries the prince is favored by the gods. Ha -ha. Why not me? Why must it be her? Eh, Papa? Papa, look at me. Look, just take a good look at me. You are beautiful, my daughter. But, 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 but. Am I not beautiful enough to be the prince's wife? You are, my daughter. You are beautiful. Then what's the problem? But she's your sister, and you should be happy for her. Even when she took away my happiness, I should be happy for her. Uh, you know, it is not her decision. She's a stranger to all this. <laughs> I see. Papa, I see you side and support all this. You don't even want to condemn it at all. How can I condemn it? How can I condemn what the gods have decided? Then, Papa, you shouldn't talk to me about this same issue again. Ada? Ada? Adugo? Huh? <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go
Greetings to you. Greetings, Idika. Idika, welcome. Prince Obiora sent me to give this to Princess Oma. Princess Oma, you said? Yes, Princess Oma. Is there anything wrong with that? No. Greetings, Idika. Greetings, Princess Oma. Prince Obiora sent me to give you this. Thank you. Thank you, Idika. <laughs> Thank you. Send me well to the prince. All right. Princess Oma. You are still here sleeping when everyone has gone to the farm. Is it because they now call you princess? Is that the reason you lazy about, eh? No, Mama. Why are you talking as if I'm the only one sleeping? Atoko is still inside sleeping. Chibo, you have the mouth to talk when I talk, eh? Eh? You have the mouth to talk when I talk, eh? Come here. Come here. Mama. Come, let me tell you something. Mama, please. I say, come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you want to fight me? Okay? You want to fight me? Eh? Come here. Mama, please, Mama. I want to sleep again, Mama. Please. Sleep. 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 Mama, I want to sleep again. Mama, please. Mama, please. I want to sleep again. This food is so delicious. Mother, you can cook it. Very, very delicious. You're going with that plate in your hands. Uh, mother, I'm done sweeping and I want to take my food. Eh? What food? Did you keep any food in this house? Uh, mother, but I... Atuko is eating and she has not done anything in this house. Eh? Wait, oh. did, did you just call my name? No, I... I... No, no, wait! Did you just call Adugo? I... No, I... You want to eat food?
princess my food. Mother, please give me food. Mother, please. Come on, eat food. Come on, eat. Eh? Come on, eat. Come on, eat. Mother, please, I'm not eating. Yes, I'll eat. Eh, eh. Don't let her touch any food in this house. Take How could you do that to Oma? As if the whole thing is her fault. Why are you treating her like she's not your daughter? What did I do to her? Is it now a crime for a mother to discipline her own child when she goes wrong? Stop saying that, Ulama. You and I know that this has gone beyond discipline. You are simply angry because of the princess' choice of marrying Oma. Oma is your daughter and some of the marital rights and gifts goes to you. I don't know what you're talking about. But all I have to tell you is, I cannot sit back in this house and watch any daughter of mine lazy about. Never! Unless you say, what about Adugu? What about Adugu? I've been watching her for some time now. She has not been doing anything. That is because she is grieving. Grieving? For what? Ulama, how can you be talking so shamelessly? Nay, Oma is your daughter. And if you don't want me to have problems with her, talk to her. Period. Ulama, you are a disgrace. Total disgrace. Complete disgrace. My son, I am begging you. Look at me. I want you to consider Adako. Please. Mother, stop saying that. I have already made my choice. How long do you want the kingdom to continue without a king? Mother, the kingdom has been under a regent since I was a child. I believe the kingdom can still survive another four more seasons under the same regent. My son, what about my grandchildren? I want grandchildren. You are my only child. I want you to start giving me grandchildren. What exactly do you want, mother? Grandchildren or me ascending the throne? Both. I want the both. Then wait, mother. Wait. You are welcome, Lydia. Thank you, Ichomenka. I've been asked by Prince Obiora to tell you that the betrothal ceremony will take place in two market days. So you and your family should get ready. Your message is well received, Idika. Um, we shall prepare ourselves for that day. In that case, let me take my leave. Uh, um, my regards to the prince and the queen. It shall be delivered. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. By sweet though. Hmm. Adogo, why didn't you come to witness your sister's betrothal ceremony? What sister? Hmm. Papa, please, oh. I don't have any other sister. Pico. What do you mean by that? Oma is your sister and you should be happy for her. I can never be happy for her, father. Look at you. I can never. How do you expect me to be happy for someone who took what's rightfully mine? Leave her alone. That is all you have to say, Ulama. What do you want me to say? To start beating her up because she did not attend the ceremony. 
Leave my daughter alone. I do go. Leave my my leave her alone. I do go. See if you don't know what is going on. She said she's not my sister. That she doesn't have any sister. I hope we don't take to heart what she said. It's not about what she said. It's about the way they now treat me. Mother maltreats me. I don't go beat me without a cause. Your sister is What about mother? Is she is so angry. Father, tell me the truth. Am I a slave here? How can you say that? You are my daughter and I love you. Don't say that again. You don't have to hide it to make me feel good. Father, what I'm going through in the hands of Mother and Adugo is pure hatred. No. <laughs> you see, my daughter, Everything will be all right. Very soon, very soon, they will learn to adjust and accept you as the chosen one. Eh? Um. Father, please stop. Stop, please, Father. I need to know the truth. There is nothing you will tell me to make me feel good if not the truth, Father. Who am I? I don't go as right. She didn't say it because she was angry. She said it because I straightened it. Father. Father, please. Please, Father. Make me to understand what is going on. Please, Father. Oh, so wise. Well, sit down, sit down. Mama, I want to tell you that no matter what, you will always remain my daughter and I can't stop loving you. So it's true. It's true. If you know my real father. <laughs> On that fateful day, I was on my way to check my I I don't 
You don't believe your will. Eh? I want to even my father can move in Zandi Bem can't even match him. Man, how man? Eh? Now man, I believe you. You believe every boy mad. Eh? When I see you, then I just want to know what you do. Can you tell me be? Eh? Eh? Now for you, okay, Abiyama. Ise, Ise, Ise. Um, I don't know you. I'm <laughs> My husband. My dear wife. Ututuoma. You are leaving already. Yes, I have to hurry before the vultures eat up the antelope. My trap caught. <laughs> How did you know your trap caught an antelope? Ha! My wife talking as if she doesn't know who her husband is. Have you forgotten? <laughs> you had another dream? Yes. This time, a very big antelope. Really? Yes. I will live. When I come back, you will see it. <laughs> I will go. When I come back, you will see it. Good luck to you, my husband. Thank you. I do go. Aduga, are you still sleeping? Yes, ma'am. Come, let's go and cook. The food will not cook itself. I hope you slept well. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Is that not a child crying? Where does the sound come from?
Oh child, who did this to you? Where is your mother? How could she have abandoned you here to die? Adugo, peel the cassava very fast okay. while I prepare food for your father. My husband, you're back already. Yes. I want you more. A child. Yes, a child. How? I saw her alone crying by the riverside. What about her mother? I think she abandoned her. Abandoned her? Oh, come, come, my child. Oh. Oh. She is beautiful. You're welcome, my husband. Go, go and drop it inside. How can a mother abandon her own child? That is pure. Adugo, come, my daughter. Look at her. She is beautiful. Yes. Come, let's go and keep her inside. What do we do with the child? I am trying to think. We should take her away from this house. Why? This might be a trap. How do you mean? Nay, I feel that the mother of this child might be somewhere trying to tell the whole kingdom how we stole her child. And you know the consequences. Child stealing. No, 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 no. I have a feeling that she didn't want the child and had to keep her there for someone to pick. So, are you saying we should keep the child? I am saying we should sleep over it. But tomorrow we will know what to do. Um, meanwhile, go give her something to eat. Nay, you know I no longer have breast milk flowing through my breast. How do I feed the child? Hmm. Give her water. Okay, uh, uh, let me give her a camel. Better. Relax, eh? Stop panicking, relax. Is she awake? Yes, she is. Good. We have to take her to Oko. Oko? He should be able to tell us more about the child. We have to find out if it is safe for us to keep her. Okay, now. Um, go prepare her straight away. We are going immediately. Oh. Strange. Oko, 
What did you see? Who is her mother? Why did she dump her there uh, at the riverside? Did she hate her child so much that she left her there for the vultures? I don't have answers to that, Omenka. I cannot see much. But all I see is that her destination is unknown. But the gods said she's a child of purpose. Child of purpose? purpose. purpose. Is she a good child? Oko? Can we keep her? She was kept there so that you will see her and take her home. She is now your child. The gods are looking up to you to take care of her until the time for her to fulfill her destiny comes. Kuzani yawo mwa, bo tulo. Kuzani o tulo, o tulo ni ime. Kuzani ime, imo toto. Kuzani yawo toto, o toto wa ugo. Kani yawo wa ugo, a ugo mbe. Kuzani mbe, mbo. So, where am I from? Where is my real mother from? I never saw what she looked like. She was already gone before I got to you. Why did she throw me away? Was I looking bad? Was I an abomination to her? Did she hate me that much? She just left me there to die. And she didn't even look back. I may not be able to answer all your questions, but I do know she wanted you to live. She carefully grabbed you. That means she wanted someone to find you. Why? Maybe there was a problem and she wanted you to be safe. She wanted you to live. And I found and brought you to my house to live as my daughter. And I swore to treat you as though you came from my loins. And since then, I have kept to that promise. Huh? You are my daughter. And you will always remain my daughter until I take my last breath. very bad you feel like your life has ended am I right <laughs> I felt the same way when you took what I should have you stole from me a little girl like you stole from me Oma I treated you like my sister I, I, I pampered you I treated you like my blood even when I knew the truth but what did you do you turned against me you turned your back at me. You stole my prince. Oma. Ha. Ha. I just wish. I just wish my father didn't bring you to this house to steal my star. Your presence in this house disgusts me. Your breath irritates me. I just wish you can just fall and die because you are a threat to my life. You know what? I just have one piece of advice for you. If I were you, I'd run far away. I'd run far, 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 far away to go and look for that my useless and careless mother that dumped me. That is what I would do if I were you. You don't belong here, Oma. You don't belong here. The sooner you learn this, the better for you. So just, just, just go, go, go. Don't talk to me like that, Adugo. What did you just say? I said don't talk to me like that, Adugo. 
<laughs> Oma, you have grown wings. Eh? Because you're not betrothed to the prince. You don't have the guts, the boldness, the impetus to talk back at me in my father's house. But you see today, I'm going to cut down those wings of your Come, 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 come here. I'll, 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 I'll teach you a lesson. Come on, bring, bring it out. Bring, bring it out. I'll teach you. My princess, the chosen one, the future of Amizu Kingdom. You didn't notify me of your coming. I should have sent the guards and maids to bring you. However, you're welcome. But your face is not bright. What is it? Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Talk to me, who did this to you? Did anybody touch you? Talk to me and I will serve you the person's head for dinner. What is it? Who did this to you? No one did. I fell down on my way to the stream. You shouldn't go to the stream. You should have people who serve you. You should have servants. But that's not why I'm here. What do you want? What do you want from me? Why did you choose me when there's so many other beautiful maidens in this kingdom? Why? I did not choose you, beautiful one. But the wise girls did. But I'm just a little girl. What do I know? I do understand the fact that she will not remain little forever. Your decision has set me up against my sister. Her adores and worship you. It is not my decision, but that of the gods. What of you? Don't you have a choice? The gods know better. You should understand that. I wish I can. Have a nice day, my friends. Oma! Oma, wait. Idika will take you home. I am disappointed at you, Ichiomenga. The future queen walked in here with bruises all over her body. She should be under your care. She shouldn't be allowed going to the stream, fetching water and getting herself injured. She should have servant who serve her. She should be given equal treatment like myself. I am so sorry, my prince. My daughter likes walking and she's never tired. Walk is the only thing that makes her happy. I have tried several to stop her, but... Try more, Ichiomenka. Try more. I will try. She should understand her new status. And that is your responsibility. I will not take it lightly if such a thing happens again. So, so sorry, my prince. It won't happen again, I promise you. It will not happen again. That will be all for now. Thank you. Can I take my leave? You can go. Thank you. Get me with that to drink. Thank you. 
Saved us from his wrath. We could have been killed if not what you told him that happened to you. You are kind. You are kind. There is no one more deserving of honor than you, my daughter. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I promise you that nobody, no one will lay a finger on you again in this house until your time to move out comes. Huh? I will protect you with my life. I will protect you with my life. Go get me water to drink. about this mother. Oh. Uh, where could she have gone to? Maybe she has gone to the stream as usual now. Without her pot? It's true. Nay, put it to Have you seen Oma of this mother? Oma. No. Is she not in the room? She cannot be inside the room when I'll be calling out to her. Eh? By the way, where are you coming from oh, this early morning? Nay, oh. <laughs> I went to collect a debt. Hey, Jamie Balo go. Where is she? How I don't know. This girl should know that her status has changed. She should do that. Huh? Hi. Oh, ma. Adugo. Oh, ma. Where is Oma, your sister? Mama, I don't know. I don't know. I was even thinking she went to the stream as usual. Hi. Mama, I went to collect a debt. Hey, Jim Kambalogo. Any word about Oma? 
No, my prince. I have asked around and no one seems to know how we are about, my prince. What about Ibika and other guards? I don't know, my prince. Tell Idika to see me upon his return. I will be in my chambers. Okay, my prince. Ulama, I ask you for the last time. Where is Oma? Why do you talk like you feel I have a hand in her disappearance? And I will answer you for the last time. I don't know her whereabouts. Then, why are you not bothered? This is evening, and she's not yet back. Besides, you never wanted her here in the first place. That is not true. Have you forgotten so soon? what you are using against me? I know I said all that, but I was very angry. I don't have a hand in her disappearance tonight. Then, where is she? I don't know. And what is going on here, Ichio Menka? Uh, no, my prince. Uh, I didn't see you walking. You're welcome. You're welcome, my prince. Has she returned? No, uh, I was just about to go out and look for her again. God. Are you hiding her from me? Hiding what? Me? She's your bride to be. How can I be hiding her from you? It's not possible. There will be no need going to look for her father. That will be a waste of time. <gasps> Greetings, my prince. Why do you say so? I have heard her saying that she wants to run away, that she can never get married to a wicked and ugly prince like you. Yes. She said so. And you didn't tell me! Father! I never knew she was serious. I thought she was joking. Joking, you said. Pray! Just pray that I find her. Because if I don't, your name will be sorry! Mm -mm. It's not my fault, mother. Is it my fault? It's not your fault. Just let, just let me just go out and don't find her and I come back. You will see my other color. You will see my full color! Nine. Nine. I am listening. I am not happy you chose Oma over our own daughter, Adugo. Oma is also our daughter. She is not our daughter, and you know it. Have you forgotten what Oku said? I have not forgotten what Oku said. We should let her live, send her away. We've tried for her. She is now big to cater for herself. Ulama. How can you ask me to send a little child away? Where do you want her to go from here? Uh -uh. When did you develop such hatred for her? I don't hate her. Let her leave. She will not leave. She will stay here with us. What are you doing here? I heard what happened, so I came to see how you are faring. You came to see how I am faring or to gloat over me? That is not true, my prince. I care about your feelings. You don't, Adako. You must be the happiest woman now. No, my prince. I am sad because you are sad. Stop. 
but I could stop. Depart from my sight immediately. I'm sorry, my friend. I am sorry, my prince. Adako. My prince. Come here. If I ever find out that you have a hand in her disappearance, then you will see what the vultures can do with a dead body. Leave my sight now. Come here. She is not allowed to enter into this palace again. Yes, my friends. Did you come here to sleep? You lazy fool. Those ridges at the farm. Who are meant to cultivate them? It's, it's me. Oh, you know it's you. And what are you still waiting for? Now go and get them ready. Go! Till dusk to finish the work at the farm. Do I make myself clear? Uh, ma but can I eat something? I ate only once yesterday. You don't have rights to ask for food in this house, you slave girl. Now listen, I decide if you eat in this house or not. Take these farm tools, go to the farm. Finish the work at the farm before you think of ever having food in this house. Now leave before I kill you. Get this way! Go before I kill you! Go! Now get this way! What are you saying? What are the future queen of this kingdom is missing and you want me to sit down, fold my arms and do nothing? You have done a lot already, my son. You have sent out such parties for her and they could not find her. Mother, I need her around me. 
She should not be far from me. What if something happens to you while searching for her? What about the throne? You only talk about the throne. You talk about the throne. My happiness does not mean anything to you. That's a lie. Your happiness means everything to me. But you have to stay alive to be happy. The journey you are about to embark on is a very dangerous one. I know, Mother. The gods who brought me back from the land of the dead will bring me back safely when I find her. Please don't go. Mother, I will see you upon my return. I don't want to lose you again, Obiora. Obiora! It's your Menka, my prince. I am going in search of Oma. And I will not return until she is found. Let me make this clear to you. If I ever find out that you are responsible for her disappearance, I swear by the gods, I will personally sniff the living dead dawn out of you. My prince, it is my daughter we are talking about here. Yes. How can I have a hand in her disappearance? I assure you, we don't have any hand in her disappearance. Yes, my prince, find her, bring her back home. This house is incomplete without Oma. Oma, my daughter. <laughs> and then we pray to the gods for your safe return. You shall succeed. Yes. I will see my daughter. I want to see my daughter. Oh, man. I need my daughter. I need my daughter. I will see my daughter. I will see my daughter. Mama will come back. Oh, man. My daughter. Take this hole and cutlass. You are going to clear Maziokoli's farm. After which, you will clear Maziagaba's farm too. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Yes, but it's too much for me. Let me finish one today, then tomorrow I can continue the other. How dare you? How dare you, slave, make demands? Listen, you are a slave. You take instructions. You don't have rights to give instructions. Now take these farming tools. Go to those farms and clear them because I've already collected money from them. Do I make myself clear? Now go! Leave immediately. Please. Go! Stupid slave girl. Ihiga, we have to rest here. We'll continue tomorrow, please. Okay, my prince. Here's water, my prince. Thank you. Um, Ihiga, I want to ask you a question. Do you think I am being foolish by going in search of her? I don't think so, my prince. All I know is that you are following your heart and the dream that the gods showed you. But if truly the gods are responsible for this dream, what stopped them from giving her the same dream? Instead of allowing her run away just because she doesn't want to be my bride. You don't know that, my prince. Neither do I. 
But that is what Omenka's older daughter said. Omenka's mother. See, my prince, only Princess Oma holds the truth. So let's find her and get the truth from her. You're right. You must be very hungry, my prince. You can sit down there. Let me look for something for you to eat. All right. Make it fast. Okay, my prince. As you can see, I'm on my way back from the farm. You're too old for this. Your children or your grandchildren should do this for you. Children? I don't have any. You mean you don't have a child of your own? The only child I had was taken into captivity. I'll be restless and I will not rest until she's free. Where are you coming from? Um, my father sent me on an errand. You mean your slave master? Uh, you, you know him? Who doesn't know any? Mean and wicked. He buys small girls and sends them to work in his farm. When they are grown, he forces babies into their wombs and throw them away. You look like the daughter I lost. Um, you had a daughter? Yeah. How did you lose her? My story is that of pain and anguish. I was a maid in the palace of King Amanze of Obodoku Kingdom. One day, the king got drunk when a meeting did not go well between him and his cabinet. I went in to serve his meal. He got hold of me and it happened. Um, what happened? It wasn't long and I was with a baby. I told the king, he could not believe what he heard. He quickly sent me out of the palace. Because if the queen hears it, she will be mad. He placed me in a house far from the palace. Was got out quickly about my pregnancy. And the queen became furious. She had all the chiefs by her side and they planned and killed the king. She began haunting me. She gave out instruction that I should be killed. Was got to me. At that time, I was nearing my delivery time. Ah! <laughs> 
Touching. By the way, um, what is this your daughter's name and where was she taken into captivity? Her name is Oma and she's sitting right here before me. Me? Yes. M me? Is your daughter? Yes. I am sorry for what you have been through. It will not be long, and help will come. You should be strong. I'll have to leave now. Um, where are you going to? The rest. Um, what is your name? Neka. search of someone. And what is this person's name? Her name is Oma. You go into this village. 
Ameke village. You ask of Ene. She is in his house. Oh, thank you so much, Mother. You're welcome. May the gods bless you. You're welcome. May the gods make you strong. To leave immediately. I think I know where we can find her. You do? Yes. Then let's move immediately, my friends. At the farm, and you came back telling me that you cannot finish the work. How dare you! How dare you, poor slave! Please, please, I'm sorry. Let me finish the work tomorrow. How dare you say you can finish it tomorrow? You will not stay alive till tomorrow because you are of no use to me. I am going to kill you here. Yeah. And right now, what do you think you're doing, young man? Who are you two? And what are you doing in my territory? You will soon find out. You did that. My Bruce! Arrest him. Oh my god! Punch him! Punch him! Punch him! Punch him! Did you get punched? He was about to kill me. Listen, the gods will never allow any man born of a woman to hurt the future queen. You are the chosen one. Your sister said you ran away because she did not want to have anything to do with me. Why did you do that? Yes, she was right about me wanting to leave. But when I discovered they were not my real family, but I didn't do that on my own, something happened. What happened? My daughter, please forgive me for everything. The way I've been maltreating you, you don't deserve that from the only woman you see and call mother. Please, my daughter, forgive me. I forgive you, mother. Eh? Oh. It will never happen again. I promise you. <laughs> Someone owes me and she has refused to pay. I want you to follow me to her house so that we'll see something from her. Yes, mother. We'll beat that woman very well. We'll even see some of her rappers. Eh. Yes, mother. Let's go.
mother. We've gone far away from the village. Where does this person live? He will soon be here. But you said he's a woman. Oh. <laughs> Is she the one for sale? Yes, she's the one I'm selling. Mother, who is this man and what is he doing here? You will soon find out. Does she look like what you want? Then pay for her. I hope this money is complete. Oh yes, you can count it. No, there is no need counting it. I trust you. It's good doing business with you. <laughs> Mother, what have I got to deserve this from you? What have I done? I am not your mother. And that will never be. Okay. Okay. Take her away. <laughs> now, let's go. <laughs> Mother, please. Mother, please. Mother. Mother, please. Mother, no. <laughs> Self clear. Now sit down. from you. 
ways this go? Oh, she has escaped. Stupid slave girl. I will deal with you if I catch you. Try that, I will kill you. Slave, take out my room. No, I don't want to stay here. I don't want to stay here. Slave, how dare she? How dare she do that to you? Listen, my princess. I am deeply sorry I was not there to protect you. I am sorry it will not happen again. Alright? From now on, she will live in the palace. I will make sure you are cared for and nurtured until the day of consummation. Thank you, my prince. Thank you. You're welcome. Dika, Abris, we have to leave now. What about this fool here? He's almost dead already. Finish him. Yes, my prince. You are back. Yes, we are back. What about my daughter? I am not permitted to talk about that, Ichie Omenka. I am here with a message from the prince. He will want you and your family in the palace immediately. Okay. We will be there very soon. Very soon. He will want you to come with me at once. Ulama. My. Bring your daughter. I do go. I do go. I want all of us to exercise a little royal patience. Oh my. 
Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, Father. Your daughter. So you are alive. Yes, Father, I'm alive. I have trusted the gods. Oh, May the gods be pleased. Mama, come back here. Oh, my. my precious sin. Hey, stop! Stop! How dare you? How dare you lie to me? You looked me in the eyes and lied. You knew nothing about her whereabouts. How dare you, Loma? Loma, what have you done? I sold her into slavery and I was paid for it. Loma, so you lied to me about Oma, even when I asked you severally. Why did you do that? Why? My prince, I'm sorry for everything. I loved Oma. I named her after me, Ulamba. But when you made your choice of a bride, you chose Oma over Adugo, my daughter, who loved and cherished you. <laughs> She cried so bitterly and refused to eat nor drink for days. She is my daughter and I'm her mother. I had to choose my daughter Adugo over Oma. I'm very sorry, my prince. Indeed. Indeed, you love her. She was betrothed to me and that makes her sacred. Any abuse on her goes directly to the royal household. Did you not understand that? I made it very clear to each and every one of you before living in search of her. That if I find anyone, a group of people responsible for her disappearance, they will be killed. And I meant it. <laughs> my prince, my prince, please. Forgive my mother, please. Please don't kill my mother, please. I'm begging you. My prince, please. That's... Take her away and make sure the vultures feed very well. The lion of our means of kingdom. My prince, please. I was abused. I was bruised in birthright by my slave master. It was a bad experience. But I count it as a blessing from the gods. I'm alive today. And we should celebrate it. Not by killing of humans, but by slaughtering of animals and feasting. My prince, she's the only woman I know as a mother. My prince, if you want me to be your bride someday, please, I beg of you, let her go, please, my prince, I beg of you, please. Oloma, you are lucky. You are very lucky. Thank the gods for Oma. I forgive you. Thank you. Oma, thank you. Thank you, my prince. Listen, I don't want you close to her again. From today, she will be living in the palace. She will be cared for and protected until she is ripe enough to be my bride and the future queen of this kingdom. That's Thank you, my Thank you. Take her away. <laughs> Get up! You, my Get up! It's okay. It's okay. Oma! Okay. 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 Okay.